Hello everyone! Today we're going to be checking out Wings of the Rising Sun by Mark Chambers. The subtitle for this book is Uncovering the Secrets of Japanese Fighters and Bombers of World War II. And that's exactly what this book does. Its point of difference is that it takes a look at captured Japanese warplanes during World War II and gives a description and discussion about what information was gleaned from those analyses and in some cases test flights. The book is organized by type of aircraft so you have chapters on fighters, bombers, reconnaissance aircraft, transports and seaplanes. Also included are some of the experimental types that were captured such as the rockets, uh, turbojets and even some very early missiles and also thrown in there is the fire balloon a uh, mechanically controlled balloon that was set off in uh, air currents which ended up killing seven people in the United States but there's a book on that and we'll review that one later the main focus of this lies with the evolution or rather the evaluation of Japanese f fighter planes that were captured. We get information about each fighter, each fighter jet, we get information about each fighter plane, its model, it, a very brief developmental history, its engine power, it, what features it had, followed by the histories of some of the examples that were captured and what was done to them after they were captured, they were taken away, they were tested, what were the pilot's thoughts, some of the reports have been reproduced almost verbatim and to add to the novelty the uh, font has been replicated so that you can understand the difference between what the author has written versus what has been copied from the reports. So we learn about how Japanese fighters evolved over the two and a half years and some of the ideas that were put together in their designs. We learned that, for example, with Japanese fighters, that armor protection gradually uh, began to be incorporated into the design and features such as self-sealing tanks also started to be incorp incorporated. Most of the main types are included. Indeed, any type that was captured it has been included. So you'll get reports on the Zero, the Zeke, the Tojo, my favorite, the Tony, and its uh, upgrade, the KI-100. You also get reviews and evaluations of transport planes, such as the Tabby, which was a license-built uh, DC-3. For bombers, you get reviews on the Betty bomber and the experimental Rita heavy bomber, which never entered production. Also included are the Kicker, which was the Japanese version of the Messerschmitt 262 Swallow. You have seaplanes, including the well-regarded Emily flying boat, as well as the Syrian uh, seaplane, which was used and developed specifically for the I-400 class submarines. So plenty of information is included in here. Mark is a great author. His ability to present a lot of dense information in an extremely readable way is in full force here. This book never reads like an encyclopedia. There's a lot of information, but it flows wonderfully. Kind of like the, w the wind over a wing. The photos comprise 90% of black and white photos. Most of them are reproduced fantastically well. There are some color photos included, although these are mainly uh, color photos of preserved aircraft that are on display and with the fighters there are also a couple of recreations of the cockpits. It would have been great to have uh, more mock-ups of some of the other plane types but this is still great to see. 
Overall, this is an informative and interesting book that takes a different perspective on the histories of the Japanese Air Force in World War II. Profusely illustrated, beautifully laid out, high quality paper, and easy to read. So for those of you who are, who are interested in understanding what was learned about Japanese aircraft in World War II, some of the different types beyond, for example, the Zero, and looking at the perspectives and the evolution of the aircraft across all different types, then this is a fantastic book to check out. So for all of this, I will give it four captain's hats. It's an informative, lavishly illustrated and endlessly informative book about Japanese aircraft and in particular, what was learnt about them when they were tested. So do check it out. And if there are any other aviation topics or books or aircraft that you want to know more about, please let me know in the comments below. And certainly if they're in my library, I will review it for you. So until next time, enjoy and happy reading everyone.